Welcome everybody. You know, during Sundance here in Utah, I was a featured chef at the Ecolux Lounge up in Park City, Utah, and I made four amazing appetizers for the stars. And I'm gonna show all of you how to do them coming up right now on Cooking with Chef Brian. Four of the most amazing appetizers. Oh, they were uh, truly amazing and perfect for any type of get together, any parties, sporting events, anything like that. You are gonna love them. They're very simple to do. And we're gonna start off with zucchini chips. Zucchini chips are a favorite. They're easy to make. And honestly, when you season them like I'm gonna show you, ah, you're gonna love them. So starting off here, I have some hot oil that's at 375 degrees ready to go that's a must you want to do that now as i always tell people whenever you are working with hot oil you never want to have kids or animals around that can jump or distract you for fear that they will be splashed with the hot oil so always 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 be ever so careful i use my food processor when i chop up the zucchini is just easier. You could use a microplane if you wanted to as well with, with the slicer on there. Um, you could really use anything that you wanted to that will give you all even slices. And that's the key uh, that you want to do is you want to have even slices so that they all cook evenly in the oil themselves. And so let's put that lid back on there. I'm gonna just put these down in there to slice. Put the plunger on there and we're gonna get those all sliced up. And I can do a lot of these uh, this particular way and so it's just an easy way to do that. And there we go. So that's how you can chop up, but they're all gonna be even, they're all gonna be the same size and so they will cook all the same in the hot oil. So let's just rinse that out so that's all done. And then there's a little trick when you fry up zucchini because there's a lot of moisture in zucchini. So you have to do a couple of stages. So when you do this, what you're going to do is you're gonna add them into your basket and then you're going to do what's called blanching them in the oil. So this is also a technique used when you do french fries. And so it's just a blanching process that's gonna be the first fry that's going to help remove most of that oil. And so that, or most of the liquid from the zucchini itself. Now, these are not going to get solid crisp like a, a French or a potato chip or anything like that, but they are going to crispen up enough to where they're gonna be delicious. So we're gonna leave these in here and let them fry for just a couple of minutes. And then I'll lift that basket out and throughout the rest of the show, I'll just kind of be dipping those in and out of there so that they can finish up frying. Now I do have some that are finished and I wanted to show you the seasonings that I put on them. Very simple to do. And what I like to do is because I like to support, let me grab a, my dish towel, here it is. Uh, I like to support our local uh, businesses here in Utah. So I'm using the real salt, seasoned salt. I use it a lot in the cooking that I do. And so these ones are all finished here. I'm gonna give them a little sprinkle with some seasoned salt from my friends at Real Salt. And you can buy these great big uh, seasoned containers at the Real Salt store. Um, and I think it's called Real Foods. It's up in Sugar House, and you can, you can Google it and find exactly where that is. This is just the powdered Parmesan cheese. You know, everybody says, oh, that green lid, uh, the green bottle of Parmesan cheese is terrible. It works great in this particular dish because I need the Parmesan cheese in a powdered form. And so that works great. Don't be afraid to use it. I'm gonna give this a little toss. And I was so excited, you know, some of the best things that you can do as an individual is surround yourself with amazing people to work with. And that is exactly what I did. I was so appreciative of my dear uh, chef friend, Jonathan LeBlanc from Stanza Restaurant. If you haven't been there here in Salt Lake City, it is truly an amazing Italian bistro restaurant. It's over here on 3rd South and about 5th East. You definitely should go check that out. And also my good friends, uh, Carrie Hawker Diaz from the TV station here. She's on Fresh Living. She was there, Jade was there, one of the news anchors here helping me. So many thanks to all of them and my dear friend Stephanie from uh, KGB 
for decorating all the tables. It's kind of fun. I posted a lot of the pictures on my Instagram account so you could see those if you haven't already. So now I'm just taking a fork and I'm just kind of mixing around loosely that zucchini to allow it to break up into smaller pieces. And that is so important to do because I don't want it to stick together. So let's see if we can get, let's get a good shot of this. There you go. Now you can see I have blanched these. I'm gonna let them kind of drain for a minute and I'll just let that kind of drain and cool and then we're gonna dunk those right back in there in just a little bit. Let's move this appetizer over to the side. <coughs> Excuse me. Those were amazing. I had so many fun folks who, who loved doing that. Um, loved eating the chips, carry around, they'd eat them with the seasoned salt and the Parmesan. Ah, it's definitely a treat. Great for sporting activity parties or anything like that. Now I want to start with a quinoa salad. Now this quinoa Asian salad is in my cookbook. You can go there and grab it and I'll show you a picture of it here in a little while. But it's going to start with just some red quinoa. You can use golden quinoa. You can use any color that you want. I like the red because it adds that much more color onto it. I'm going to take a bell pepper. <clears throat> and the bell pepper I'm going to just slice up into some uh, fine little julienne slices. And now we're going to start to create this delicious salad in there. And so it's a very simple thing to do. And just cut these into strips, the, the bell pepper into some strips. And you don't want the strips too thick because the thickness is going to determine how large the dice is on the uh, end product. And so I'll show you what I mean here. So I've sliced those into the julienne strips. They're into a little dice here. I'm gonna add those into there. This makes for great color. So whenever you're building things, you want great color because that's gonna really pop when people see it. Because remember, you eat first with your eyes. And so let's just chop up this other salad here, or this other bell pepper, add that into there. I'm gonna dunk down in the zucchini again and let them have a second frying. It takes about three fries to get them nice and crispy like the ones that I just was finishing up on. So you can see now, add those into there. I'm gonna use a Bosque pear, you can use an Asian pear. Uh, the boss pear is what I had available to me, and so you can use those. You can use the Asian pear, which the salad talks about, and you can use a Bartlett, you can use a red pear, whatever you want to to add to the salad. It's just really up to you. Have some fun with it. I just sliced down four sides, and I have the stem in there and the, the center portion that I don't want. This is gonna go in the trash, and just like the bell pepper, I'm gonna slice these into some julienne slices. Well, more diced, I should say. Don't go away, when we come back, we'll keep working on all these great appetizers.